Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to bring you the deck of Iwula that I have been working on. This deck is pretty straightforward. We want Iwula to carry the game. So we get Fischl to do some super conduct with us at the start of the game. Then we go to Genyu and later we can with Genyu. We can do the trail of the killing to protect ourselves and Iwula. And then with Iwula we can keep the wolf gravestone or payments and things like that. And we can super carry the, the, them, chunk of the knees to do physical damage and piercing damage. And then the resonances of ice to get more dices and more damage. The star signs to get more energy. One hand I haven't lost yet. I have one copy of the General Ascension Helm because as far as I have been testing, it seems super, super, super great. So I have one copy of it. And also we got the Lotus for Chris to get less damage and make Eula hard carry uh, way better. So yeah, this is the decks and let's get into it. We are playing against the uh, freeze team, actually. So let's see how we do it against it. Hmm, I'm not really used to play against the Mirror Maiden, but it's fine. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna keep this too because it helps Eula to carry a lot. I'm gonna get rid of the star signs. Let's start with it. Um, Fischl. Then go again you. And then we can try to go to uh Eula. Let's see what we get. Okay, some nice dice. Let's play boss here. Okay. So you want to burst turn one, right? Oh my god. Bruh. What the fuck is that shit, man? Okay. I think I'm gonna normal attack it. Yeah. And I'm gonna do strategize to draw cards. Okay, this is nice. I'm gonna let the play, the living on the field. We're gonna pass turn. He has a really quick, quick, quick um ultimate. But I can try to kill him with the with the Genyu. If I kill him with Genyu, that'd be great. Maybe with him. Elemental skill or this. Let's see. I mean, I mean, he's gonna ult for sure. He's gonna burn all the cards that he needs and he's gonna ult. Because he can start um, freezing me around. So if this is Chum. This will be 3 in AoE. If I play this, this is 5. To him and two in your is three in your I think I'm gonna go for it. Play this, I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna do this. Upper conduct here. Alright. But it's not quick swap, so I think I'm gonna burn. This, this, the Wolf Gravestone or this? No, this is better. The Wolf Gravestone can carry me. And do this. And we almost won <laughs> without using Kibula. <laughs> because he grit a lot with Kaya. I mean, we... We almost won here. Alright, he's gonna heal. Nice. Okay. We're gonna end the round here. The good thing, to be honest, is that um he is gonna be really low HP. So now our Oriola can come in and uh, clean it up. And actually, oops, sorry, I hit the microphone there. And actually, if you see the field. Uh, we are on a really good spot 
because even if he freezes, he only has two try cycles to unfreeze. So we are on a wood spot. Now, for example, if I go Eula here with quick swap, which I will. Yeah, it costs me two. But I play this. And do I normal attack or Ryom? I think it doesn't mind. I think I'm gonna play a side portage to get the buff of the green heart. Now he has to swap to make the icicle hit me. But now I stay with Eula because even though he freezes me this turn, it's, it's not really that big of a deal. And he gets damage again and I kill her Kokomi now go by going first. So Oriula is able to clean everything and break them apart. Really nice turn. I mean, the first turns with this deck are super, super important. Because you get to know how you will be playing the game on on this. And actually having Kyula to clean up. Yeah, it was game over. But having Kyula to clean up everything after all the super conducts is super great. So that's actually what you um, aim for. Doing some damage with Fischl, doing some damage with uh, Genu and Super Conducts and Church Attacks, and then Eula comes with the Wolf Gravestone or not with the Wolf Gravestone and cleans up all the fight and wins the game. So yeah, let's get to another one. So here we <laughs> we game two. We are against the same guy. Um, <laughs> yeah, we are against the same guy, and um, we're gonna be was. So playing pretty much the same strategy, I'm gonna keep everything. I really like my hand. Let's go official. And we're gonna... Um, yeah, he's gonna start Mirror Maiden. Mm -mm -mm. Right, let's get rid of all of this. Let's try to get some cryo dices now. Alright. So, we want to play this. We want to play the Lishu here. Want to play the Oz. Plunk. <laughs> Which was the effect that this girl has that... Oh, this is, right? That makes you... Yeah, this is the dice. The thing I was, was talking about, okay? It's fine. I'm just gonna do this. He wants to swap to Kaya. He thinks that he's safe, but he really isn't safe. <laughs> so we want to put this, apply some cryo, and we have ultimate ready. Okay, nice. So let's end the round here. And we're gonna ult. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Went to ult. Okay, nice. We got the Cheng. Cheng? His name? I don't, I don't really remember. But now we're gonna ult. I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna stay with the um, Electro Dice just in case. Because it maybe can help me. Okay. So, we want to ult here for sure. That's for sure. Oh my god, I didn't play the Cheng. I'm so bad. Oh. The Chang, sorry. I don't know why I tell him that it's Chang when it's Chang. I'm so sorry, my man. Okay. Mm, so sorry. Okay. So. I want to play this. Mm, we are on refraction. Well, she's not on refraction yet. So, I'm gonna play this here. I'm gonna hit him. Right? Or do I want to play Star Signs? No, I'm gonna hit him one time. Like this. Nice. I turn. Okay, now he gets 
uh, plus 2 damage here, plus 3 damage, sorry. So if he can't kill the ultimate of Genio, uh, his Kaya is dead. And it's actually nice. And we haven't played Eula yet. <laughs> but yeah, the work of Eula is basically going into late game. And after late game comes, just clean up the fight. It's, it's like a mate, you know? She comes on the last place and kills everyone. We have this. So I think... I don't really want to play that. I want to swap away. Yeah, let's do this. This is way better. Like this, we have a lot. Mm, we can play this. Okay, and the skill. So we play... This. We use... No, I want to use it like this. What the fuck, bro? And I want to use this. But I prefer to this and freeze it. Kill her. And you have no dices, my man. And it's GG. <laughs> As you can see, Ibla comes again to break everyone's in tears poor guy he lost two times to Oriula. so let's get to the last game okay so here we are with the last game we are against eula kokomi and mona pretty it's like a protection of eula deck right we are most like eula is or clean late game cleaner but he's gonna play more like eula is a super hyper carry so we're gonna stay with these two mm, i'm gonna get rid of this only because all four cards are broken. I'm gonna get with all four cards. Okay, let's get. Let's play Fisher first. Okay, you start with Eula. Interesting. I mean, you can start with Eula too. Because her elemental skill doesn't have that much um, cost. So she can be really, really, really great with her. Okay, but I want to play Paymon first. Paymon and then maybe Crush. I don't know. We'll deal four damage next time. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Let's play this. Mm, I don't want to use this. Maybe I burn him. Play us. And swap for next turn. Maybe that's the best way to go. Probably. Because even if she deals a lot of damage to our official, we don't really care. You know how this works. The important piece here is Genio and... And Tula. The only bad thing that can happen with this team is that... Let's get the swap away. Is that or get or get um, us dies and official dies and I can't apply any more electro? That's the only bad thing that can happen. Okay, so now he wants to ult with Eula, which is bad because I don't have any send off, so we can't really break it. Let's get rid of all. That's a bit bad. However, we're gonna protect ourselves. That we have been done. He's gonna ult. So I probably play Lucky Dog Cyclot into Trail of the Quillen. Okay. We're gonna ult here, right? Yeah, with the good ultimate fuck off. He got, he got everything perfect for his Eula. Okay. I'm gonna play this. Now I'm gonna play Trail of the Quillen. Let's get to my HP again. Nice. Nice, nice. And now I'm thinking, if I want to charge attack here... Okay, now his ultimate only deals. How much damage is this? 
Even if he hits me again, it sits damage. Mm, I think I'm gonna protect myself. It's really greedy to not protect myself. I'm going to do this again. I reset this shield. So I don't die here. I end the round, I go first, next round, and we can ult with Genyu. He's going to deal 8 damage to me, but no, 6 damage. But it's reduced by 1, so it's 5. Nice. Really great, actually. We're in a good spot. Now we ult with Genyu. Alright, alright. Let's get rid of all of this. Nice, okay. So, game plan. I do play this. I ult. This is long overdue. Nice. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. He kills, he gets so many dice. Quick swap. Okay, do Kokomi. I went to skill. Frozen. My question here is Do I play Fi do I go with Fisher or do I go with Ebola now? Okay, EFF. I mean game was over because his Ebola lost the burst. I fucking super conduct him a lot. We, yeah, official the game plan there was going official and official will break him apart and that will be made in game over because he can't really um, heal that much and actually even if he heals my Ulel has the um, the wolf gravestone that will end the game so yeah this is pretty much it thank you everyone for watching the video and see you guys on next video bye bye thank you for watching leave a like and subscribe please